I'm Tom the Tale Teller. Thank you so much for joining me again for another story. Um, I hope you've been keeping up with what I've been doing here on YouTube, over at the World Storytelling Cafe. Um, I'm over there. I've been on Tag Team Tales on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to get more content out there, more stories you can sit and watch and listen to with the family, just to help you get through these troubled times. Now, I've had a special request, a special request from a very special school. This school is the school I go to year on year on year. I've been five years in a row now. And every year I spend some time telling stories to the whole school in their assembly. And then I work with the year twos telling them stories and they produce some fantastic writing to go with it. That school is Haim Ferrers Infant School. So a big shout out and hello to all of those people who are watching from Haim Ferrers. Um, your teacher has been in touch and asked me, what order did the things happen in the story that you told in, in our school? I can't quite remember. So I said, how about I record the story just for you guys and then everyone can watch it as well and you can do the work that your teachers set from it. So here it is. I hope you enjoy. My story starts like all good stories start with a once upon a time. And it starts in the middle of winter, when a spring like the spring outside today seems a long, long, long way away. You see, the snow is laying thick and heavy on the ground. And our story starts in a tumble down old castle, where once many people used to live, a laird and his lady and all the servants. But now, now no one lives. Instead, the crumbling walls surround a floor covered in earth. And there, there, look, can you see them? There are one, two, three bats. Here's my bat. Can you see them up there, look? The three bats. Oh, if you can't see them, means you've not turned your imagination on. So make sure you turn it on. Can you see them now? Yes, yes, there they are, look. Three bats. It's the middle of the day. The sun is high in the sky, and so the bats aren't out flying around. No, 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 no. What are they doing? They are, you guessed it, sleeping. And there's a big bat. A middle-sized bat and a little bat. The big bat is the daddy bat, you guessed it. The middle-sized bat is the mummy bat, that's right. And the little one is, of course, baby bat. Now the wind blows cold and chilly. It blows so cold and chilly that baby bat wakes up and shivers. And he says, and this is where you have to join in. Oh, did I not mention this is a joining in story? I'll be watching. I want to see you all joining in and grown ups too. The first bit of joining in. The baby bat waits. He's so cold. Oh, good shivering. I like that. And he shivers and he shakes and he says to himself, Oh, I'm so cold, he says. I can't sleep. I must go for a fly around and see if I can find any of my friends. And maybe they can tell me ways of keeping warm. And so he opened his wings. And we can open our wings like this. Or like this. And he took off and he flew down low. And he flew up high and he flew somewhere in the middle. When down on the ground he saw. On a ground that was once beautiful flagstone was now covered in earth. He saw an iggly wiggly worm that's it you guessed it a worm and baby bat he flew down he flew down and he landed next to worm and he said hello worm oh 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 said worm oh my goodness you made me jump he said 
baby bat, what on earth are you doing out in the middle of the day? You should be fast asleep. Oh, I know, said baby bat. I was trying to sleep, but, but, but you see, it's far too cold. Hope you joined in. How do you keep warm, worm? A worm thought a thought. He thunk a thunk and he think to think. And he said, well, when I'm really cold, I do what worms do best and wiggle. Let me see you wiggling. And you grown-ups, grown-ups at the back, wiggle, 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 wiggle. I know you're sat there thinking, I'm not doing this, this is just a video. Children are doing it, you do it too. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's it. And so baby about, he started wiggling. And my goodness, it worked. He started to feel a lot warmer, but he wasn't completely warm. And so he said thank you and goodbye to the worm. And the worm said thank you and goodbye and off he squiggled down into the earth. And Baby Bat, he opened his wings. Let me see your wings, this way or this way. And he took off, that's it. And he flew up high and he flew down low and he flew somewhere in the middle. Well, there, there in the far corner, he could see a great glistening web. And sat in the middle of the web was, yes, you guessed it. Incy wincy spider himself. And so Baby Bat flew over. He landed next to the web and he said, Hello, spider. And the spider jumped. Ah! Oh my goodness, Baby Bat. What on earth are you doing? You gave me the fright of my life. You should be in bed. It is the middle of the day. And Baby Bat said, I can't sleep. I'm far too ready. Cold. I'm trying to find ways to keep warm. And well, Worm has shown me how to wiggle. How do you keep warm? A spider thought a thought a think to think a thunk a thunk. And he said, well, uh, I suppose I've got lots of arms and legs. So I have to wiggle them like this and shake them around. Shake, 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 shake. I hope you were doing it at home too. Brilliant, said the bat. Now I know two ways to keep warm. One, what was the first one? That's it, wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. And now, that's it, shaking your arms and legs. Shake, 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 shake. And he said thank you to the spider and the spider said goodbye. And baby bat opened his wings and he was just about to take off and the spider scurried off into the corner of the web where there was a great crack in the wall and he squeezed himself in. And just before Baby Bat took off, he heard. But then he heard another noise. Baby Bat heard a help, help. And he looked all around. And there, there on the very edge of the web, right in the far corner, he saw a little buzzy fly that's it fly and he hopped over to the fly and he said fly what are you doing you're st stuck in the web and now the spider's going to come and get you and he'll have you for his tea i know said the fly please please help me i'll do anything oh that's not a problem said baby bat and he plucked out the fly off the web and put him on the wall what can i do to repay you said the fly well, said Baby Bat, that's easy. Just tell me how to get warm, because I'm ever so, you ready? Cold. That's it. The fly, he thought and thought. He think to think and he thunk of thunk. And he said, well, I suppose when I'm really cold, I do what flies do best and I buzz. Let me see you buzz. Buzz. Uh, hold on, are the grown-ups at the back doing it? Buzz. That's it. So baby bat buzzed and he started to feel warm. He said, brilliant, I know how to do one, two, three things now. I know how to one, what's the first one? Sit, wiggle like a worm. Two, yes, she grabs her legs like a spider. And three, that's it. Buzz, like a fly. He said, thank you to the fly. The fly said, no, thank you. And the fly buzzed off. Bzzzed. 
And baby bat, he opened his wings. Let me see your wings this way or that. And he took off and he flew down low. And he flew up high. And he flew somewhere in the middle. Where there, there on the floor he saw. Floating gently just above the mud. And ooh, spooky. If you guessed it. The ghost. Yes, a ghosty. But Baby Bat knew this ghosty. This ghosty was a lovely, friendly ghosty. In fact, this friendly ghosty wasn't scary at all. He was scared of everything else. And Baby Bat flew down and he said, Hello, ghosty. And the ghosty jumped. Oh, Baby Bat, don't do that. You know I'm ever so easily scared. Why are you not in bed? The sun is not yet set. Baby Bat said, I can't sleep. I'm far too, you ready? Cold. I've found lots of ways of keeping warm, but tell me, Ghosty, how do you keep warm? Ghosty thought and thought and think to think and thunk a thunk, and he said, Well, I have no corporeal form, no solid state to get cold, so I don't really need to keep warm, but I suppose if I did, I would do this. <gasps> yes, this is the silliest by far, but Baby Bat did it, just like I hope you're doing it, and the grown-ups as well. Ready? And he started to feel warm. And he said, thank you. I now know how to. And let's do all four. Ready? One. Wiggle like a worm. That's it. Two. Shut my arms and legs like a spider. That's it. Three. Buzz like a fly. And four. That's it. Woo! Like a ghosty. Goodness me, thought Baby Bat. He was sweating. He said a massive thank you to the ghosty and the ghosty said goodbye and he turned around and he walked off through the wall. <sighs> Baby Bat opened his wings and let me see your wings that way or that way. And he took off and he flew down low and he flew up high and he flew somewhere in the middle before he suddenly realised the sun was setting in the sky. Darkness was creeping like a gravy thick through the castle, chasing away all the light. And so, Baby Bat returned up to where his mum and dad were fast asleep, and he hung upside down next to them. Just at that moment, they began to open their wings and wake up, and Daddy Bat said, Baby Bat, where have you been? Have you been out half the day? Baby Bat said, yes, I couldn't sleep. He said, I was far too. Ready? Cold. And just at that very moment, the wind blew through the castle and all the bats shivered. But I found a way to keep warm, said Baby Bat. Well, tell us then, said Mum. If you've been out half the day trying to keep warm and you found a way, well, we're freezing, tell us. So the bat did. He showed them how to wiggle. Sit, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Shake. Woo. Buzz. And woo. And using our imaginations, can you see them? One, two, three bats. Upside down. Wiggling, shaking, buzzing, and wooing. I tell you what, it's a very funny sight, for I saw that. That's how I know this story to tell to you because the baby bat told me. It was a very funny sight and it was a very good tip he gave me. So although we're coming into spring now and the weather is warming up, we have had some cold days recently and we can still have a few more cold, wet days. And if you're cold, just remember, all you need to do is wiggle, shake, buzz and woo and you will soon be warm again. Thank you for joining me for this story. Thank you so much to the Haim Ferris Infant School for asking me to record this. I hope you do some great work from this story and I really hope to see you again soon, back at your school. And if anybody else wants me to come to their school, 
anyone else listening, I am available to come to schools, to do visits, to help improve literacy and English across the curriculum. I'm also available for WI groups, for grown-up storytelling. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, all of that jazz. It just helps these stories get out and be seen more. Don't forget to check out the World Storytelling Cafe. New storytellers every single day putting up fantastic stories on there. Uh, check out Tag Team Tales, as I said. Check me out on Facebook, Tom the Tale Teller. And Twitter, Tale Teller Tom. And I shall leave it there. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.